cookery combines a wide variety of ingredients, almost exclusively produced here on the island itself. These are often combined into the fabulously tasty rice and curry. Sri Lankan curry is very different to an Indian style curry that you might have had at home. Usually you'll be left with enough rice to feed an army along with three or four curries, but sometimes as many as seven or eight. It's not too difficult to find a dish that's not too spicy either. The bigger meals are eaten during lunchtime and breakfast, so don't be surprised to be offered curry early in the morning. Here we have a typical Sri Lankan curry, beetroot curry, chicken curry, uh, that's go to call sambal, your greens, pumpkin curry, that's bitter goat salad, winged beans stir fried, and two types of rice, the all healthy red rice and the white rice. Sri Lankan people will insist that only by eating with your fingers can you get a proper eating experience. Using your fingers, you can mix the flavors much better than you can using a knife and fork. Can't wait to eat, can you, Stuart? <laughs> there is definitely a technique to it. Mix a small piece of meat or vegetable with rice and use your fingers and the plate to fuse the food together into a small ball. Pick up the ball of food on your hands and use your thumb to flick it into your mouth. Simple.